Why do you think DNA is made up of four bases? How many hydrogen atoms are there in a glass of water? How does the structure of the amino acid glycine change with pH? Do you know of any experiments that were used to discover the properties of DNA? Trisomy 21 is a genetic disease whereby an individual has a third copy of chromosome 21. What do you think causes this and why would this lead to Down syndrome? How does a potassium channel discriminate against sodium even though the iron is smaller in diameter? Hi, I'm Lauren, a fourth year biochemist at Oxford University. On the list are just some of the questions I was asked in my Oxford interview in 2013. During tuition, I'll go through the answers to these and many more with you in depth, working to improve your ability to work through problems logically and to perfect your general interview style. For now, I will walk you through the model answer to my favourite interview question. How many hydrogen atoms are there in this glass of water? You should structure your answer in a logical order saying your thoughts aloud throughout. First, you'll need to estimate the glass dimensions. Choose measurements that are easy to work with as you're not likely to be given a calculator. I've chosen a 10 cm height and a 5 cm base radius. Now let's calculate the volume of water. Remember that the volume is the area of the base times the height. The area of the base is pi r squared. The answer you should get is 750 cm cubed. Converting this into litres is 0.75 or 750 millilitres. The density of water is 1 gram per cm cubed, so we know that the mass of water in this glass is 750 grams. The next thing to do is to calculate the number of moles of water molecules present. Remember the important formula you've learned in chemistry. Moles equals grams over molecular weight. Water is oxygen and two hydrogens, so its molecular weight is 16 plus 2, or 18. So the number of moles is 750 over 18. Now you have the moles, you need to work out the number of molecules. Remember we can do this using Avogadro's constant. One mole contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules of water. You won't be expected to know this number, don't worry. Your interview will be there throughout to prompt you with all this information if you get stuck. The final thing to remember is that each molecule of water contains two hydrogen atoms, so your final answer will be 5 times 10 to the 25 atoms of hydrogen. If you prefer, you can leave your answer in an unsimplified form, but always simplify if you can. And that is how you work out the number of hydrogen atoms in a glass of water. I hope this video was helpful.